Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered the getting started guide for Luxfox Pico Mini B RV1103 Linux Micro Development Board that how you can boot Ubuntu in the SD card and then how you can uh, run Ubuntu in the Luxfox Pico Mini B and how you can access the terminal of your Luxfox Pico Mini B from Windows 11. Okay. Now in this video, we will see the getting started guide for Luxfox Pico Max RV1106 Linux Micro Development Board. So here on the camera, you can see here I have Luxfox Pico Max. Okay. So here you can see Luxfox Pico Pro Max. Okay. With 256 MB of RAM. And here we have the Ethernet port. Okay. Uh, you can use it for the application which is required Ethernet connectivity and uh, yeah so we will see the getting started guide for this that how you can boot ubuntu in the micro sd card and how you can load this uh luckfox pico max with ubuntu and how you can access the terminal of the luckfox pico max okay so let's start so here is the uh, documentation okay you can follow this documentation otherwise uh, for specific uh, uh, just a moment yeah you can go to this uh, Luxfox Pico RV1106 documentation and here we have Luxfox Pico Pro Max okay you can uh, expand that and here you can see the getting started tutorial and here you can see SD card image burning so you can follow this tutorial for this so first of all uh, what you require so this is what you require okay now we already have everything okay uh, you don't need ethernet cable okay initially that is fine so first of all we have to install the driver so you can download the driver from here otherwise you can visit our website and from here also you can download the driver now i have already downloaded the driver so github embedded devices luckfox and software and here you can see the driver assistant so you have to double click here okay and you have to install the necessary driver to connect with your luckfox pico max board so driver installation is fine so i can close it now okay then after you can see download images so once you complete the installation of the driver you can download the image for respective board okay so you know that we have the luckfox pico pro max board okay so we can download the image for this board so here you will have the google drive link so you can see for build root here is the link and for ubuntu here is the link so i can click here and here you can see luckfox pico pro max ubuntu micro sd card image and i have already downloaded this one and here you can see in the luckfox in the operating system here you can see luckfox pico pro max okay luckfox pico pro max ubuntu for micro sd card so you have to download this and inside this you will find this much of files which we are going to use to boot ubuntu in the sd card okay so here is the sd card so we will uh, use the software to flash the sd card with ubuntu and then we will plug this sd card into our luckfox pico pro max board okay and then we will access the terminal okay so we have already downloaded this one so this step is already covered now we have to format the sd card okay to flash the ubuntu image so to format the sd card you can use sd card formatter tool and uh, you can download the sd card formatter tool from our website otherwise you can also download it from here sd card formatter i have already downloaded okay so sd card formatter uh, i can press yes okay you can see right now we don't have any sd card so i have to plug the sd card in the sd card reader okay so i have plugged it now we can plug that into our system okay you can see you need to format the disk in drive e before you can use it because i have already uh, flashed this sd card with the ubuntu for luckfox pico mini b version so i'm going to cancel it okay and i'm going to you know format my sd card so drive is e okay uh, we are going to do the quick format and i'm going to hit format it will erase everything from the sd card okay and that's it you can see format is successfully done 
Okay, now we can close this SD card formatter tool. We can go back to documentation and after the SD card format, okay, you have to flash the SD card with the Ubuntu operating system. So for that, you need SOC Toolkit software. Either you can download the SOC Toolkit software from here. Otherwise, you can download the SOC Toolkit software from here. Okay, anything is fine. Both are the same link. So I have already downloaded the SOC Toolkit software. And here you can see SOC Toolkit. And I can double click and I can open that SOC Toolkit software here. Okay, now here you can see chip supported list and here we have to select the chip okay for which we are going to flash the ubuntu in the sd card so here you can see on the camera uh yeah you can see we have the chip of rv1106 okay so you have to select this chip in the soc toolkit okay rv1106 so that's why i am going to select rv1106 here and then we will press okay after that, we want to flash our SD card with Ubuntu operating system. So we have to select the SD boot option. Okay. And here you don't see any SD card. Okay. But SD card is already plugged into my system. So what I can do is I can eject it. Okay. I can plug it again. Okay. And let's wait for a few seconds. Okay. Here is our SD card open. Now, I can select the SD card here, okay, 7.4 GB or 8 GB. After that, we have to select the boot files. So you have to click here on the boot files and then you have to navigate to the operating system which you have downloaded from the Google Drive, okay. So it is in my embedded devices, Luckbox operating system and this is the operating system i'm going to use for luckbox pico pro max ubuntu and we are going to load that operating system in the micro sd card so you have to select it and then you have to press ctrl a to select each file and then you have to exclude this update dot image file okay and then you have to click on the open now here you can verify the files okay so you can see we have the boot yes we have the environment ID block, OEM, rootfs, Ubuntu and the user data. So we have loaded every files which is required. Okay. Now we can press create SD card to load this file into the SD card. So it will take a while to load every file into the SD card. And once our SD card is ready, we can plug that SD card into our Luckfox Pico Pro Max board and we can uh, access the Linux terminal of that board. Okay, so here you can see create SD card. Okay, so we have successfully uh, booted our micro SD card and now I can close this SOC toolkit. Okay, I can eject my SD card. Okay, and we can plug our SD card into our uh, Luckfox Pico Pro Max. Just a moment. Okay, so we have successfully loaded the micro SD card in the Luckfox Pico Pro Max. Now we can plug this uh, Luckfox Pico Pro Max to our system. So here is the cable, USB to USB-C cable. So USB end is in my laptop and USB-C with the Luckfox Pico Pro Max. Now let's wait, okay. So here you can see the LED is flashing. Okay, so it will boot Ubuntu Linux inside this board and then after you will hear some beep sound in your system. Okay, and once you hear that beep sound, you have to open the 
network connection in your system and here you will have one NDIS based remote network sharing device okay so let's wait for that okay you can see we have this remote NDIS based internet sharing device so it's nothing but our Luckfox Pico Pro Max as a LAN device okay so right now this Luckfox Pico Pro Max has an IP address of 172.32.0.70 so we have to put our system into the same network so that's why we have to modify the IPv4 address of this uh, internet sharing device okay so you can click on the properties and here you can see in the TCP IP okay TCP IPv4 you have to change the IP address of your system for specifically this network okay so that's why you have to go to the properties you have to double click on the internet protocol version and you have to put the IP address similar to this okay or you can say you have to put your system into this network so for that you can use the IP address 172.32.0. anything here in the last uh, three digit okay so i have put 23 and then we can press tab so subnet mask will be automatically defined here and then after you just have to press ok okay but i'm not going to press ok right now and we will see that we are able to ping this device or not so i have opened the command prompt here and here i'm going to type ping and the ip address okay we are already able to ping it okay because we have configured it previously so i'm going to leave this as it is and we will press ok we will press yes we will press again ok if you are not able to ping here then this steps is mandatory okay you have to have performed these steps to make your system into the network with the luckfox pico pro max if you are able to ping then it is fine now we will try to ping that device again and here you can see we are getting the ping now we have booted the ubuntu operating system inside the luckfox pico pro max so that's why this is the static ip of our luckfox pico pro max device okay if you have booted the build root then this will be the static ip address of your device okay but in the case of ubuntu you are going to follow these things now we know that we are already able to ping our luckfox pico pro max now we will log into the terminal of the luckfox pico pro max okay so you can directly use this command ssh pico at the rate 172.32.0.70 now pico is the username okay for your uh, luckfox pico pro max device if you are booting the ubuntu and luckfox is the password so i'm going to copy this command i'm going to paste it here and then i'm going to hit enter it will ask for the password now the password is luckfox so l u c k f o x and it will take some time to log in and then after you will see the main screen so here you can see luckfox welcome to ubuntu 22.04.3 lts okay so we are successfully log in to the terminal of this luckfox pico pro max okay so we are accessing the ubuntu terminal of this board now if you want to see the free memory then you can type free hyphen h and here you can see 246 mb is total this is the used and this is the free this is in the buffer and this much is available and here is the swap memory details okay and uh, here is the cpu details so you can see cortex a7 model 5 and other things about the uh, cpu architecture okay now this uh, ubuntu linux will already comes with the python 3 so you can type python 3 and here is your python 3.10.12 okay so that's how you can access the terminal of your luckfox pico pro max board okay and then after you can program anything okay and then you can access the gpio and you can do a lot of stuffs so i hope this thing is clear that how you can getting started with the luckfox pico pro max rv1106 linux micro development board so there are a few steps you have to follow 
first of all you have to install the driver okay you can download it from here you can install the driver then after you can download images for your luckfox pico pro max okay and we have already uh, downloaded this one luckfox pico pro max ubuntu for the micro sd card then after we have to format our sd card using sd card formatter you can download that software from here after formatting we have to flash our sd card so you have to open the soc toolkit you can download that from here otherwise you can download it from our website soc toolkit and then you have to select the chip type okay so chip type for us is the rv1106 uh right now it's not visible here but no problem it's the rv1106 so so that you have to select here and then after you have to go to the sd tool you have to select your sd card if it is not available here just unplug it and plug it again okay and then you have to select the sd boot to boot your sd card with the ubuntu operating system you have to select the boot files and you have to exclude the update.image file and then you have to uh, click on the create sd okay and then after you have to plug the sd card you have to connect this luckfox pico pro max with the usb c cable with your system and you have to wait for this network sharing device comes up in the network connection once it will be available here you can change the ip address okay 172.32.0.xxx as per your requirement and you can ping this device and once the ping is available you can use this command ssh pico and the ip address of your device to log into the terminal of the luckfox pico pro max and then after you can do whatever you want to do so let's shut down this device so sudo shut down iphone edge now and luckfox and once you shut our device down here you can see the ndi space remote sharing network is disappear so our device is successfully shut down so i hope the getting started guide for the luckfox pico pro max is clear and if you still have any question or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp you can reach out to me on linkedin also you can send me a mail now in the next video we will see the getting started guide for the luckfox pico ultra w rv1106 linux micro development board okay so stay tuned for the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you